Welcome guys, it's Andrew from IDB here. iOS 11 Beta 8 is upon us as we approach the release of iOS 11. There are very small and few tweaks in here, but there are a couple that we can point out. Overall performance though has been very good. I would genuinely say that overall it's much snappier than it has been in the past, especially with Touch ID, or not Touch ID, but 3D Touch. It feels quicker though there is like an imperceptible lag just sometimes. Hopefully that gets cleared up and it's as smooth and quick as it was in the past. One thing in the App Store, if you search for something like Twitter or YouTube, now there is a developer card for the actual company. So like Twitter will show up here when I search for Twitter. And the same thing if I search for YouTube, I would see like a Google card. In previous betas, like Beta 7, that was nowhere to be found. I performed the same search on my iPad running Beta 7. There's no Twitter company card. I can still get to that developer profile by tapping on the app, but now that developer profile card will show up right in my search results. Now, while I did notice everything was snappier, how does that just matter for me? And of course, it may be different on everyone else's phones. I did go ahead and run a a Geekbench test just to see how performance worked out. So after a full restart of the phone completely powered off, I did run it and it's almost the same as it was last time. 5928 was my multi-core score and 3510 was my single core, pretty much what it was last time. Of course, the big question is, when are we gonna see the public release? With an Apple event planned, possibly for on September 12th, we may see it very, very soon. Will we see another beta before then? I don't know. But let us know what you think down in the comments below. And if you notice anything else changed in Beta 8, feel free to let us know as well. Otherwise, subscribe, give us a thumbs up. And until next time, it is Andrew for IDB.